But up till maybe a month ago, cortisol was not really a buzzword, right? It's become a buzzword in the past few months. Literally, everyone's talking about cortisol. I still don't believe that people understand what they're talking about when they talk about cortisol. And so, as I've explained through this wonderful interview, it's about two or three derivatives away from a symptom. Most people that having are having lack of sleep aren't thinking cortisol. They're thinking, I need a sleep aid. Mm -hmm. And a sleep aid is wonderful at knocking you out but it doesn't put you into a natural circadian rhythm that enables your body to naturally create the hormones you need to function the next day. Mm -hmm. It just knocks you out. And that's why when people take drugs, which I won't name, they wake up and they feel groggy. Mm -hmm. You're not feeling rested. You feel like, yeah, I slept, but I don't feel regenerated. You didn't have the deep sleep that you need. Mm -hmm. And therefore you didn't make the hormones that you need to function the next day and feel upbeat, energized, and ready to go. And so it's very interesting when you look at the way that the body works and functions, you can't force it to do something. You have to support it to do it of its own natural accord. And the body is very intuitive. And I have this conversation a lot about the way that we are treating HRT or hormones as a whole society today. What the world doesn't appreciate is that a doctor is basically trying to find your optimum balance of hormones. There's no test on the planet that a doctor can do to say, ah, you should have a testosterone level of X and an estrogen level of Y and a progesterone level of whatever. There isn't a test. What they do is they take the blood work, establishes a baseline, and then they ask you a whole bunch of subjective questions. How are you feeling? How are you sleeping? 